G'day, Wombat here, and in today's beginner series, we're going to take a look at upgrading our amp into something that sounds really good, instead of that little amp you got in your amp pack. So you've been playing guitar for a little while now, and you've been playing through your amp that came with your pack, and you've been trying to get the most out of it that you can, and you probably have. But now you've come into a little bit of money and you've decided it's time to upgrade your amp to something that sounds a whole lot better. So today we're going to look at a few amps that are budget style amps, so they're not going to cost you too much money, um, but will definitely sound better than the current amp you're using. So um, all of these amps that I'm going to talk about today are amps that I have personally played. So I'm not going to include things I haven't played and I'm not going to include things that I've played and I think sound terrible. Now keep in mind, the more you spend on an amp, the better the amp is usually going to sound. You tend to get what you pay for. But that doesn't mean you can't get a good amp for not necessarily a lot of cash. So let's have a look at some amps and see where we sit with them. So the first thing we're going to do is going to have a look at a couple of amps that come in under $200. Now this is Australian money. But $200 is not a lot of money for an amplifier, but in this price range you're going to get um, small cabinets and small speakers. So let's have a, have a look at our first one, shall we? So the first one is going to be a Behringer uh, V-Tone GM108. Now the GM108 is a little amp, it's, it's a 15 watt amp, so not a huge amount of power, but perfect for just playing at home. It has a little 8 inch speaker. Um, and it is less than $200, which is pretty good. Now, keep in mind that the size of a speaker cabinet and the size of the speaker itself can make a difference to the kind of tone that you will get out of an amp. So this is only a little 8 inch speaker, but it sounds pretty good for a little 8 inch speaker and, and it will do you, it will certainly sound better than the, the current amp that you're using. Um, so there we go, that's the Behringer V-Tone GM108. So the next amp we're going to look at is the PV Rage 158 or 158. Now this is also a little 15 watt amp, um, another small speaker, but the PV range um, in the beginner amps and um, home use amps are, are usually pretty good um, and fairly reliable. So once again, small speaker, small cabinet, but for less than $200 you're getting a whole lot of tone with this amplifier. So the PV Rage 158. So the next amp we're going to look at is um, a little more expensive. It's under $300, so over the $200 mark now. And it is the Blackstar ID Core Stereo 20. So Stereo 20 would make you think it's probably a 20 watt amplifier, but it's actually not. It's a 10 watt amplifier, but it runs in stereo. So it has two speakers inside it, so it's a little bit bigger of an amplifier. And it runs what Blackstar called the super wide stereo technology. So although this is only a 10 watt amp, it sounds huge. I mean, it really does sound big. It's really, really good sounding. You have six different voicings on this amp. So eff effectively six different channels. So a couple of different cleans um, and several different types of uh, overdrives and some really, really heavy distortion. So this amp will do Everything from, from clean to heavy metal and anything in between. Um, it sounds pretty good and it's, it also comes with some effects built in as well, which um, actually work pretty well. So this is an amplifier that is going to be a major upgrade on what you've been using um, up to this point. Um, and that 10 watts, although it's only 10 watts, it does sound huge with that super wide stereo. Alright, so that is the uh, PV ID Core Stereo 20. PV, sorry. Uh, the Blackstar. <laughs> ID Core Stereo 20. So the next step we're going to look at is another step up again. This is the big brother of the Blackstar we were just talking about. Um, it is the Blackstar ID Core Stereo 40. Now once again that doesn't mean 40 watts. It is a 20 watt amplifier so a little bit more um, but it, it does run the two speakers um, and it gives you that super wide stereo sound that Blackstar have been using with these ID Core amps. Um, once again, it sounds absolutely massive with that, uh, that super wide stereo that they use. Also comes with the six voicings, just like the, the other Blackstar amp, um, and built-in effects as well. 
um, but it's a little more expensive this one so we're looking at under four hundred dollars so just over the three hundred dollar mark there um, if you look around you can get some pretty good deals on them but it is a great sounding amplifier um, you really couldn't go wrong with this not loud enough really to gig with but certainly um, a major major upgrade of what you're using now um, and just sounds absolutely massive really good amplifier all right so that is the black star um, super wide stereo uh, id core stereo 40. so the next amplifier we're going to look at is still in that under 400 dollars price range um, it is the Behringer GTX 30. Now the GTX 30 is a sizable amp, so it's got a fairly, fairly good cabinet size to it, um, which of course brings a little extra weight when you're moving it about. It is a 30 watt amplifier. Um, it has built-in effects, much like the, um, the Blackstar amps do, um, but it also has included in it a tuner, and it is 30 watts. So we're starting to get into a louder range here of amplifiers. So um, really good sounding um, basic amplifier and by that I mean it doesn't have any any major uh, amplifying um, modeling technology or anything in it it is a set and go kind of amplifier um, but a really good sounding amplifier from Behringer um, and definitely worth a look so the Behringer GTX 30 so the next one is a name that most of you by now are going to know it gets a lot of publicity it is of course Marshall now Marshall amplifiers have been a mainstay of rock and metal um, and even blues for many, many years. They've produced many wonderful amplifiers. But in your price range, you're not going to get any of those really super high-end Marshall amplifiers. What you will get is the MG30X. So the MG series amplifiers are solid state um, and they're pretty good bang for the buck. Now a lot of Marshall purists out there will say, well, they're not much good. They don't really sound like a Marshall but they're not really trying to sound like all those high-end Marshalls. What they're trying to do is give you a good amplifier at a good price. So, you know, as long as you're not looking for, you know, slash Marshall kind of tones, um, you're going to get a great amplifier out of this. It is Marshall, um, so the name on the amplifier is going to look cool to all your friends. It's 30 watt, it's a, a bigger size of cabinet, um, has some built-in effects in it, and it sounds great. You really can't go too far wrong with it. Um, and, you, you know, a lot of the purists don't like it, but you're not looking to be a purist. You're just looking for a much better sounding amplifier, and this thing will do the job. Once again, under the $400 mark, so, you know, some reasonable money, but you're going to get a lot of amplifier for that money. So the Marshall MG30FX. And last but not least, we're going to have a look at an orange amplifier here. Now, yes, orange is the name of the brand, and yes, it is orange. It is the Orange Crush RT35W. The 35W, of course, means 35 watts. This will be the loudest weight rated amplifier that we're looking at, at 35 watts. Um, but it is a killer of an amp. It sounds great. Um, has reverb built in. Uh, a tuner also built in there, and it really does sound awesome. Now, if you're not a big fan of the orange um, cabinet that it comes in, which is their hallmark, their, their trademark, um, you can get a black version, um, which looks good. Um, but for my mind, um, orange amplifiers need to be orange. I mean, that's just me, I suppose. But um, it's not for everybody, that the color of the amplifier, but I think it looks great. A great sounding amplifier, once again, just under that $400 mark, um, just like the, the couple other amps before it, but um, a fantastic sounding amplifier. So there you go. There's our round out of our, our amplifiers um, for upgrading. So really what you're looking for with an upgrading an amp is to improve the sound that you're already getting. Okay? So... Most of the amps that come in the pack amps are small. They might be 10 or 15 watts, so they're not going to be particularly loud. They will get you started, of course, but there's going to come a point when you're going to want to upgrade. And you've reached that point now, so that's why you're watching this video. So these seven amplifiers that I've just talked about are amplifiers that um, I have all personally played, and they all sound pretty good to my ear. Sound is a very subjective thing, so I can only give you my opinion on them. Um, some people won't agree, some people will definitely agree, and there's probably some amps I've missed out. 
And if I have missed any ants out, please help everybody out and put them down below in the, uh, the comments. That'd be great. But these are the ones that I have played that I have been impressed enough with to think they would make a good first amp upgrade. You really do get what you pay for, so keep that in mind. Um, and the bigger the size of the amp, generally the better sounding cabinet you're going to get. That's just the way it is. And of course, the bigger amp, the bigger the speaker as well, and that makes a difference as well. But all of those amps should be pretty good for you if you've got a little bit of money to spend, but don't want to go overboard. So that's all there for you. Um, check them all out. Go to your local shop and play a few and decide for yourself which ones you like and which ones you don't. That's just absolutely the best thing that you can do for yourself is go and play them yourself. All right. So that's all I've got for you today. Hopefully that's been of some help. And as always, thank you so much for watching and keep rocking, guys.